right guys, welcome to part, I think it's six now, on the Honda 400EX. Um, last video, I think we left off where the bearings hadn't come in yet, so we were waiting on those, and we were still waiting on the seat cover to come in. And uh, we found out that the tire in the front, this one, had a bent rim, so it was all wobbly on there. And then we found out that the bearings were horrible on it, and you can see the bearing play in there. I mean, the wheel moves quite a bit, probably like two or three millimeters, which is quite a bit when you're going fast and it starts to wobble. And then we found that there's a bunch of goo, or slime it's called, green slime that they put in the tires to um, prevent leaks. That was in there. Both tires had those. And um, yeah, I think that's where we left off. And then we were practicing some wheelies. Today's video, the bearings finally came in for the front. New bearing kit right there. We're going to install these today. Um, so that should make that play go away in there. So we'll grease those up, put those back in, and we'll see if that does the trick. So the plan is we're going to do the bearings, put the old tires back on with the rims, and see if the wobble goes away. If the wobble goes away, we know it was the bearings. Um, if it doesn't go away, we're going to take the wheels off, and I got replacement rims, so we're going to try these out. If these don't work, I have another set of brand new tires and rims we're going to try out. So, we're going to fix it either way today. Um, but I just want to see if it was the bearings, or the rim, or, or the slime in the tires. I want to see which one was causing the wheel wobble. Um, or it could be a combination of everything. So stay tuned. The mystery will be solved today. Alright, it's off of there. Let's pop those bearings out now. Alright, let's go put the bearings in the freezer. Whew, they're hot from sitting out in the sun. Holy cow. Put it right next to the meat in the freezer. Alright, those are all good to go. All right, here are the old bearings. You can see. Not the greatest bearings in the world. So we'll quick replace those. Should be good to go. All right, so the bearings are in the freezer, getting cold. What I like to do is take the heat gun and then just heat up the surrounding area where the bearing's gonna drop in and that way the bearing will just drop right in. Uh, typically it takes a couple pounds with the, the rubber mallet, but nothing crazy, so we'll heat that up.
All right, so that bearing's all the way in. You can see, it spins smoothly. So that's done. Don't forget to put your little centerpiece in there. And you're all set to go. All right, time for the second bearing. We'll do the same with the second side. Heat it up. Right, that looks pretty dang good. Everything's nice and tight. Uh, no binding, so I think we're good to go. Put the seals in. I think that's it. All right, put a little grease on them, on the seals here. It's all greased up. Put a bunch of grease in the middle of there. Just see. Dang, that's nice. Look at that rotation there. Ho ho ho, baby. We're in business now. All right, now we just have to duplicate that on the other side. So that should be fun. Old bearings and seals. Bye bye. See you later. All right, we got both sets of bearings in. Very smooth. Check that out. No side to side play whatsoever on there. Um, what we're gonna do now, just to see if it really was the bearings causing the wheel wobble, we're going to put the original tires back on, take it for a test drive, and then see if the wheel wobble's gone. If, it's, if the wheel wobble's gone, we knew it was the bearings. If it's not gone, it's probably the tires and that bent rim. bearings work all right let's see if the new bearings work here let's see if that was the 
root cause. Look at that thing. Don't look at that thing. That's nothing. Here we go. Let's see if the wheel wobble's gone. Wheel wobble is still there. So, alright, we know it's not the bearing now. got back from the first ride with the new bearings and uh, we still had pretty bad wheel wobble um, so I'm guessing it wasn't completely the bearings but I'm sure the new bearings helped the other ones were completely rusted in they were all crappy and uh, they were all crunchy in there so new bearings didn't hurt but I'm sure that wasn't the actual issue so we're gonna jack it back up and put on the other tire right there the other rim so that will get rid of the bent rim and then we'll try it out then um, and then after that, if it still has wheel wobble, that means that it must be the slime in the tires. So let's put that wheel on without the bent rim and try it out again. All right guys, so as you saw last video, we spin this tire and it's so bouncy and just bent so badly. So we're going to replace it with this one over here. This one right here should not be bent, so it should be fine. And we'll put that on. We'll see if this works now. All right, so apparently the new tire that I just got is bent as well. So that one's bent as well, so that's a bummer. Let's try the other one now. All right guys, second attempt at this. We added the other rim that um, came with the other quad I bought, which we're not gonna talk about this video because it's happening next video, which if you guys wanna see what I bought, go check out my Instagram, two underscore vintage underscore. But anyway, this one doesn't have the bent rim. You can see when you spin it. So that's pretty straight. It does have the, the slime stuff in it though, you can hear it in there. But it's not wobbly at least, so we'll pump that up to about 5 PSI and then take it for another test run. Alright, new tire installed, pumped up to uh, 5 PSI here. Let's take it for another ride and uh, see if we've still got the wheel wobble. If we still have the wheel wobble, we're putting the brand new tires and rims on it. Alright, second attempt here. See if we still have the wheel wobble. Hopefully it goes away. Still, I don't know what the heck the issue is. That rim isn't bent, so that's interesting. 
could just be the slime messing stuff up. Alright guys, just got back from the ride. Looks like the rim that's not bent didn't work. Still has wheel wobble pretty bad. So we're gonna put on brand new tires with brand new rims on both front and uh, see if that works. If it doesn't, then we have a bigger issue. Not too sure what it could be then. Stay tuned. Brand new tires, brand new rims going on here right now. Let's see if these guys work. Next one. All right, both brand new tires are on it, brand new rims. Let's take it for a GoPro ride and see what happens here. All right guys, brand new tires on this beast. Brand new rims. We should be good to go. Hopefully. Let's get her out here. Rolls pretty nice. Holy cow. Stop rolling. Stop rolling. <laughs> okay. All right. Let her warm up for a little bit. Officially fixed, no wheel wobble. I'm super happy. It was the tire all along with the uh, the slime green stuff in it. That was the culprit. We switched out both tires, brand new rims, brand new tires, solved the issue. So if you guys are having a wheel wobble problem, I highly suggest get new tires, get new rims. Completely solved the problem. And it's looking pretty dang sweet. US speed test. Alright guys, took the last and final ride on it with the new tires, new rims, no wheel wobble. So it was the slime in the tires causing it to wheel wobble, um, which was great because we fixed the problem. So again, thank you for all the comments suggesting that it was the, uh, the slime in the tires and the bent rim because the bent rim probably had something to do with it too and then the bearings too. So. We figured it out, we fixed it, problem solved. Um, I'm getting four brand new tires uh, for this thing coming in with brand new rim. All right, definitely getting better at wheelies. Um, still trying to find that balance point. Really don't know what I'm doing wrong. Oh, that thing's hitting that again. How is that thing hitting that? Oh, the zip tie broke off of it. <laughs> zip tie must have broken off. Crap. But yeah, um, Trying to get the hang of it, tried a couple different things, tried to go in second gear, and that was a little bit harder for me for some reason, because you had to go faster. Um, I'm just trying to pop it up 
in first gear and then hit the brake so I get the the back foot brake thing down um, so I don't loop it and really you've got the bar right here that saves you but I'm still I don't know whenever I get like to the to the balance point I always want to hit that brake because it feels like it's gonna flip I don't know if that's just me or everyone feels that way but yeah it feels like it's gonna tip every single time so I don't know we're getting a little better if I practice each day I should be pretty good but yeah that was just a little little wheelie session for you guys more to come I might just dedicate a whole video to doing wheelies and just get it over with and be done with it hopefully I get get really good but yeah saw those along with the sea cover coming up here pretty soon so stay tuned for that and um, I actually got a new quad as well so if you guys want to check it out before the video comes out check out my Instagram two underscore vintage underscore and you can get the sneak peek behind the scenes of the new quad which it's pretty sweet never owned one before so definitely go hit up the Instagram to check that out also guys, if you need motorcycle, ATV, or scooter parts, check out lab2.com. Lots of great parts up there. And I think that's pretty much it. I'm so happy we solved this problem. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time, we are out. <laughs>